welcome. Thanks for joining us. MLB The Show has action out of the AL Central. It's the Cleveland Guardians going up against the Kansas City Royals. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about set to go. Today's starting pitcher, Alec Marsh. Chris, what are you looking for from him? Well, he's been a real quality starter for his club. And coming into this one, what stands out for me is that right-handed hitters have really struggled, batting below 200 on the year. It seems that they have a hard time picking up his release point and tracking the ball into the zone. So we'll see how right-handers do against him in this one. Steven Kwan, the leadoff batter, as he looks at ball one. That one finds the corner, and the count one and one. There's a strike. There's a one-two. And another ball. Next pitch is outside. Full count. That one ripped. That's a hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Just a very nice approach and swing right there to use the big part of the field. Everything was on time. He stayed balanced through the entire swing and just launched that one into center. Here's Tyler Freeman to hit. Runner takes off. Pitch misses. And that's a stolen base. Not even close. Well, he's batting leadoff, and he's acting like a traditional leadoff hitter. Gets on base to start the game, then puts himself on second with a nice stolen bag. I think that sets the tone for the offense for sure. Quan at second with nobody out. Way high. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. As a hitter, you got to learn something from that pitch. He clearly wasn't timed up on the fast. Three ball. That one, one way strike. inside. Straighten him up a little bit. Man, it's second. That one That's is ball. inside ball four. And I mean, oh, so close. Here's Jose Ramirez. This is another guy capable of hitting tape measure home runs. That one ripped, but foul. Pitches downstairs. One ball. Lay off that pitch down. No. Just misses without one. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. In the dirt, and the count's full. First and second go out, and we're just getting started here in the top of the first. High fly ball, right field. This could go the distance. Home run. A massive home run. Home run number 20 on the year. It's 3-0. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boog. We knew it wasn't coming back. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark.
Here's Josh Naylor. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. And first offering is fouled off. It can be tough to bounce back after a big home run, but nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning. The 0 1. That's oh, wow. a little bit low. Oh. Wouldn't chase that time. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. Around first and hustling for second. And that's a double. It's amazing to me that he was able to put the barrel on that one. I mean, that pitch was pretty well outside, but great extension and bat control through the zone allowed him to drive it the other way. That was pretty impressive. So, man aboard, David Fry will hit next. What a season it's been for him. He has supplied a lot of power and that average. That's off the mark, and that is ball one. Singy, maybe some nerves getting the best of him in the first? Well, it's hard to know exactly if it's nerves or not, but he just doesn't have it right now. Those hitters on the other side, they're going to say it's nerves and use that as a competitive edge to try to jump on him even more. Ball. And another ball. Two ball, no strike. Swing yep. and a miss as he Two was one. out front that time. Fouls one off, two and two. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good... Oh, now this is blasted way back there on its way. Gone. That one felt good. It's their second home run of the inning. It's five zip. He absolutely feasts on right-handed pitching and devours that one for a homer. And you can see that's what he expects of himself at bat after at bat. He's that confident. It's like he's playing wiffle ball up there, and that's typically not the easiest way to hit a home run. It's the slight opposite field into the gap. Man, making it look easy, that's for sure. And now the rookie second baseman. And he takes a strike. You know, lots of pitches thrown in this first inning. And it's kind of that nightmare scenario for starting pitching. But you know what? It's still early enough. He can settle in. He can get some length if he just cleans up his mechanics Ball. a little bit. And now it's even up. Side edge, and now the count is two and two. Ah. He goes down looking. Well, he throws him with a great fastball right on the corner. It's kind of like pulling, and you think the ball is going to get into the gutter, and somehow it just hangs onto that edge and knocks down a pin. Well, he got the outside corner of the plate and got that called third strike. Here's the rookie right fielder. Oh, he doesn't get the call. And that's ball one. One ball, no strike. And he deals. That misses. Two balls, no strikes. That's ball for a strike. Still only one out here in the inning. Out to center. And that'll fall for a base hit. Look, I don't think that pitch would have been called a strike, but 
He did such a nice job of pulling his hands tight to the body and just getting enough of the barrel on it to be hard enough back up the middle for a knock. One gone runner at first. Here's Brian Riccio. Roll to short, could be two. Off balance feed, there's one. And it's a double play to end the inning. The two round trippers in this inning, the long ball was working. And the lead is now 5 nothing. Major League Baseball is on the show. Back here in Kansas City. And today's starter, Tristan McKenzie. And Chris, pitching on the road has not been particularly kind to him. Yeah, and you don't want to be too quick to say that he can't pitch on the road. Sometimes, you know, it's just a matter of luck. It's not having a feel. Difference between the bullpen Boy, mound to the Boy, mound Boy, Boy, Boy. out there on the, the playing field. field. Don't know what it is, but I know this. He's got good enough stuff to overcome and get it done on the road as well as at home. So we'll see what he's able to do in this one. Nick Lofton in the box now. No balls and a strike. No. And that's outside and it's one and one. This is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The offense has worked hard. It's shut down inning time. Next yeah. offering is in for a strike. And that's in the dirt. Two two now. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. 2-2. Two, two. Fouls it back with two strikes. The punch out there, and that's the first out. Well, he should get some fist bumps when he gets back into the dugout because even though he strikes out, he saw a lot of pitches and he battled. And this is a long haul where you're trying to get that pitch count up as early as possible. So gave the guys behind him an opportunity to see what's working for this pitcher or not. But I tell you what, it's a nice job right there. Now here's Bobby Witt Jr. One out, base is empty. Just misses. And the count one, is two. one and two. It's a good take. That to right. Sizing this one up. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Out. That number two good. and here now the lineup for the Royals and something they've talked about needing to improve on moving forward is their ability to apply consistent pressure Chris right now it's not a club that gets on base enough and sometimes Boog you just need a hitter to go up there and grind out and at bat maybe have 11 12 pitches and all of a sudden players get fired up in the dugout huh. and they want to do the same thing and before no you know it What's you right? start to get base runners on and you get a big hit and all of a sudden you ride that wave for a few days and go on a winning streak that's something they definitely could use ball. that one's upstairs ball one and one and one Here at Kauffman Stadium, top of the second, here's the rookie third baseman, Angel Martinez. Marsh, back to work. Ball one low. Martinez measures six feet even, hitting ninth in today's lineup. And he was born in the Dominican Republic. Next pitch inside, and now 2-0. pitch center field on his way in 
Long run. Nice grab. And there's one down. Now back. Left field. So the batting order turns over. Now the left fielder, Stephen Kwan. He's one for one. Let off the game with a single. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Oh one. Good Ball. eye Left in that down. spot. And another ball. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. And it's fouled away. Oh, Inside, God. almost got him. And they'll do it again. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Swing and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. And after grinding through that at bat, he gets the best of him. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already is bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. Man at first, one away. Swing and a miss. Ugly swing right there. Okay. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Well, that's the money maker right there. Two strikes, slider down and away from a same now side that. thrower Look as the hitter. Hit. I mean, that's just tall. You're looking to protect with two strikes and very difficult to lay off. 1-0. This one in the dirt, but no advance. That's ball one. The pitch. Wouldn't chase that time. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0. He's put himself in a really good spot. Smoked on the ground a second. Gets it to first. Out. And Ramirez is set down. Third out. Guardians lead one. As they are unable to add to their 5-0 lead. And welcome back we to the ballpark. The and now it's Salvador the Perez Kevin. to the plate. Salvador. Obviously a guy who makes good contact. Oh, hits for average. But one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. The why to kick the pitch. They're no, so reliant not. on the matchups nowadays, Chris. And it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit you know, both sides in terms of pitcher's arms, you're a guy that it's hard to take out of the lineup. And I think it's very important today when everything is under the microscope. Makes the catch. And there's Not one down. Hit. The left fielder. MJ. So up next, MJ oh, Melendez. Okay. Let's go, Royal. Strike one. First pitch strike right there for him. He's going to have to do that consistently if he's going to give any length to his skipper. Ball. And there's a ball. The one Guardians ball. leading by five. Bottom half of inning number two. Inside Five, corner, and that's called a strike. Oh. 
ball. That's down and in. Two two. And Hold another down. ball. Back to work. Three two now. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly he had a four. Renfro. Hunter Renfro stands in now and watches strike one. Two down, nobody on. That one, one misses. And the count even one and one. Wouldn't chase that time. Two one pitches in there, and the count is even. That's excellent location on the fastball right there early in this game. If he can do that all game, it should be a good outing for him. Next offering misses down and away. Fights it off. He'll see another. Two outs, bases empty. In the air, right side. Settles under this one. He makes the grab, and that'll do it. So they go quietly there. We head on now to the top of the third. It's the Guardians five and the Royals nothing. Back here in Kansas City. And now it's Josh Naylor. Marsh back to work. That one in there across the letters. You know, these Guardians do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. Not only have they already put up a bunch of runs on the board, but they've also made the strong. Feeling for the wall. Makes the catch and foul ground. Getting ready to hit. He's already homered here in this one. That's in there. That's strike one. Like I said, his pitch count is high, so I got to expect they'll be turning to their bullpen sooner than they had hoped. And the righty deals. That one pushed foul. One down, base is empty. Caught him looking for the K. Just dropped it in there on the top of the strike zone. That was certainly not what he was trying to do with that curveball by any means, but at the plate, you could tell he wasn't expecting it either. I'd say he got away with the big time hanger on that one. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's the second baseman. Yeah, immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Go well, Chris through the early stages. He hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. Righty delivers. And a foul ball. Finish. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now, doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. And a pitch. That one missed. To third. On to first. Out. Guardians go down in order. Nothing across here this half. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Guardians five and the Royals nothing. And we're back. Leading and up. now the right Royal fielder, Royal. Nelson Velasquez. The right wind in the pitch. Gets the call. That's strike one. No ball. One strike. Right. 
Right hander kicks deals. Ball. Outside. And now it's even one and one. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Kicks and deals. And the slider just misses. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And another ball. Three two. Ground ball left side. Toss to Naylor. Lead off hitter gone in the third. Batting in the third baseman. Mike Here's the third baseman. Right through there for a strike. And here it comes. Bouncer to second. And that chance handled. Gathers and throws to first. And two straight set down to begin the bottom of the third. Blanco. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder, Dyrone Blanco. That ah. one's in there, 0 and 1. Ah. And a strike. Deal 2. No. Missed inside with the curb. One Close ball. pitch Two there, strikes. and he's kind of wondering where it missed. You know, getting a feel for each umpire's strike zone is something that pitchers and hitters really have to think about and work on from game to game and sometimes from at bat to at bat. That's and that's outside. It's two and two. Oh, Swing three. and a miss. Struck him out. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Nothing doing for the Royals. Still looking at that five nothing deficit. As we go to the top of the fourth, now it's the right fielder, number 30. Jonathan Rodriguez. The pitch. Yeah. Fastball in for a strike. Going one. That yeah. breaking ball is in for a strike, and quickly no it is nothing two at two. Righty to the plate. One, two. Trying to get him to chase on the change up that Two time. Two and yeah, that's oh, outside. So now three and two. Lifted in the air out to left. Melendez drifts towards it. And out number one on the grab. The bat, number four, shortstop, Brian. Now it's the shortstop, Brian Rocchio. 0 for 1 so far. The shortstop takes the ball. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Angel Serpa, the left handed reliever, appears to be getting loose. Here comes a pitch. Swings through that one. Through that fastball one right ball. by him, one slightly strike. elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. On the move. Takes it in for the out. Two away. Now that out. Third base. On hell. Martini. Two outs, base is empty. Now, Angel Martinez. 
First oh, pitch doesn't find the zone. Right side. And that one handled. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Guardians fail to score, but they hold a 5-0 lead. Back here at Kaufman Stadium, bottom four. Now here is Nick Lofton. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Right through there for a strike. Boog, over 80% of his first pitches are strikes. You're doing that, you could have a really good day out there on the mound. Naylor. And he takes it out. himself for the out. The batter number seven. Shortstop. Bobby Witt. Bobby Witt Jr. now. He was drafted second overall by the Royals in 2019. Adley Rutschman was the only player taken ahead of him. Yeah, he was part of a really good crop of shortstops. Ah. Bobby was the first one taken, but C.J. Abrams, Bryson Stott, Anthony Volpe, and Gunnar Henderson were also part of that draft class. How good is that? No, pretty, pretty good. Ah. Top of the zone for a strike. And the count, one and two. Base is empty one away. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Popped up left side. Rokio settles under it. That's out number two. Now bad. First base is Vinny. So up now for Kansas City, Vinny Pasquantino. Flied to right his first time. That clips the corner. That one inside. And that's ball one. And another ball. Pitch misses there. Three and one. Three one. Two outs. Swing it a foul straight back. The wind of the pitch. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Left hand batter waits. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Two down, nobody on. And he walked him. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first oh, base is going to have a very aggressive secondary okay. lead. So a ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. Perez takes a ball as he stands in for the second time. This one in the air right field. And they get Perez for the out. And that ends the inning. Royals lead one. It's 5 nothing. We're back. And there's a new arm on the mound to start the fifth. Angel Serpa. He pitched yesterday and we'll see him once again. Here's the left fielder, Stephen Kwan. He's kind of an outlier, especially when guys are consciously sacrificing contact to deliver power. Line drive, and that's a fair ball. Now he'll turn for second. And he greets the new arm from the bullpen with a double. Clearly seeing the ball very well in this one. He got a pitch he could drive, but he didn't get too excited like a lot of guys do and pulled off the baseball. Really good timing all the way through the swing, and the barrel was so on plane with the ball. Easy drive into the gap for that double. 
So man aboard Tyler Freeman digs in now. Outside low and it's one and oh. Quan leads off second with nobody out. Fastball for a strike. There's the strike up high. One and two. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Man at second. Ah. Struck him out looking. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day no, long. No, no. Not quite in the strike zone, but he okay. found a spot that the umpire is going to, at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. Hey. Now a check on him at second, back safely. Now it's Jose Ramirez. Ball. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Fires in a fastball at 95. Back-to-back -back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. Here's a 1-1. One -one. Got a good eye there. Two. Next offering is in for a strike. One out and a runner at second. And we're at the top of the fifth. Here's a 2-2. And look Get out. Ball. As Get that ball. one ran in and got him. He had two strikes on him. And he hit him. Next Josh next Naylor, Naylor the first digs in for the Guardians. Josh. One for two. Ooh. And a foul ball. Two on, one out. Ball, no. Foul ball there. One out. Runners at first and second. High fly ball out to left field. Melendez moving under it. Melendez pulls that one down. David Fry, the, bat, the next to hit. The He's already homered in this game. Right through there for a strike. Two outs. A couple of base runners at first and second. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Okay. He finds himself in a tough situation early. Just going to try to simplify it. Take a knock the other way if you can. Kicks and fires. Got it by him for the K. And welcome back to the ballpark. Now the left fielder, MJ Melendez. The right hander back to work. Check swing, but he went too far. 
Strike oh. one. Melendez, 25 years old, and he was a second round pick back in 2017. There's a strike up on, and it's nothing in two. Missed inside with the curve. And a pitch. Backed off the plate that time. Battling here as he fouls it away. 2-2 Two -two on the way. Stays alive. The pitch. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. The wind of the pitch. Inside, three and two the count. Outside, and that is ball four. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Got a great back and forth at that at bat. He had to lay off some really close pitches. And somehow, Blue, he found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Renfro stands in now, looks at that one inside. Two balls, no strikes to count. The Royals still looking for their first hit in this one. And a pitch. And that skips in the dirt. These first two hitters really making him work out there. Already 14 pitches this inning. The pitch. Well struck left field. Going back on this one. Makes the catch up against the wall. Now that the right field. Now it's going to be Nelson Velasquez. He's over one. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. Here's your one. Curveball ball drops in there. Movement in the pen for the Guardians. Tanner Bybee, the young right-hander, up and throwing. Allen, also throwing. At the belt and fires. Gets a piece and stays alive. Melendez leads off first with one away. And the next pitch is way outside. Wouldn't chase that time. Two-two down. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. And the right-hander deals. That's a little bit low. That's when you always want as a pitcher down at the knees, and it looked to me like he's barking. That's a strike. Doesn't change the call, but sometimes it helps to let that frustration out a little bit. Hey. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. Man, I really like the ability to bounce back right there after not getting the call. He probably should have gotten him. Didn't let it affect his focus, and he came back with another good pitch to get him swinging. Number 11, batting for the second time, 
and that's strike one. He's been very consistent with his command out there on the mound, consistently throwing at the knees. Pretty impressive when a guy can repeat his delivery like this. And he deals. On the ground to the left. Third out, and that ends the frame. Here in Leading Kansas City, the here's the second baseman, the number second 10, baseman, Daniel Schneeman. As the lefty gets to work, Ball. outside. 1 0. Come on, Royal. Fastball right. for a strike. The one one is fouled off. The one two. Ball. Got him looking. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. And now the right fielder. Jonathan Rodriguez. That's in there. Well, he had a pretty good look at that pitch and not sure exactly what tied him up there. Couldn't pull the trigger. And perhaps the best pitch you'll see in this at bat to hit. One down, base is empty. Not one, close with that one. Now one and two. Got him looking for the K. He's got to be frustrated with that call. Tunneled that pitch. Thought it was going to be a slider breaking in off the plate, but it hugged the corner. And at that point, when he recognized it, it was just too late. Two outs, base is empty. Now at the plate, Ryan Rocchio. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Two down, nobody on. And we're the top half of the sixth. On the ground to third. Zips it to first, and it's a 1-2-3 inning. Nothing doing for the offense that time. 9-1-2 scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. It's the Guardians five, and the Royals nothing. Bottom of the sixth Leading inning, up, and to the plate for Kansas City, Tyrone Blanco. Blanco. The right-hander back to work. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And the righty deals. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Next offering is in for a strike. And the pitch. Still two and two after the foul ball. And the pitch. That one the other way. Pulls it in, one away. That swing right there tells me he's seen the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. So the Royals batting order turns over. Nick Lofton now at the plate. No. Just missed. The 1-0. -oh. 
fouled back our way, and that's out of play. On the inside corner for a strike. Yeah, there's a ball. The pitch. X, it misses. It's a strikeout. Just indecisive in that at bat. He couldn't commit to the slider. Tried to sit in between. Just not able to put the bat on the ball. Bobby Witt Jr. will hit next. Pop foul out of play off to the right. Now just about to hit that century mark. 100 pitches for this game. Two outs. He swings and fouls one off. Right hander kicks deals. Ball. Well, as good as One things ball. can be, it can be a tough day at the office, even for the skippers. Seeing the offense just sputter, not able to get anything going. Now a slow roller to second. Toss to Naylor, and Witt is out. Three up, three down, inning over. And now it's switch hitting third baseman Angel Martinez. And here it comes. Ball Pitch misses outside. outside. Ball one. Movement in the bullpen. Sam Long, the left hander, up and throwing. Schreiber, the right hander, loosening up as well. The pitch. And there's a foul ball. But why the kick the pitch? In for a strike. Now one and two. A one-two count. All he's seen is fastballs. You've got to expect something off speed. Stay back. And another ball. And that one just missed off the outside edge. Three two down. Got he battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself no, after an at bat like that one. Good. Really good battle right there. And that final Whoa. pitch probably could have gone either way. He was hoping he'd get ball four. Instead, the umpire rings him up for the backwards K. So the Guardians lineup turns over. Here's the left fielder, Stephen Kwan. First Inside. offering, and it just misses. Left-hand hitter waits. There's a strike. And that just misses. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. And that one ripped to left. He's there. He's got it. Two down. The center fielder, number two, Tyler. And up next for Cleveland, Tyler Freeman. A 
A little out front there as he swings no ball, through it. He's done a great job getting the first two outs. Want to get this number two hitter, get back in the dugout, and face three, four, five next inning. Strike on the outside, and it's on two. I would say the game's close right now, but it's not out of reach either. I mean, these pitchers really need to put up a zero on the board. And down on strikes he goes. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Set for the last half of the seventh. And now the first baseman, Vinny Pasquantino. The pitch. You can tell by their swings. This lineup is having trouble gauging speeds. Timing is everything in hitting, and right now they just don't have it. This one chopped to first. Naylor steps on first out. for the out. Well, we're clearly at that point in this ball game with the no no goal on that. Totally anticipating seeing some history. Those infielders right now, they are on their toes, expecting the ball to be hit to them. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Salvador Perez. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. And there's a strike. The Royals hitless so far in the game. Clips the outside corner, and the count is 0-2. Oh, this guy is so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at-bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0-2 count. Way one, outside, two. and it's one and two. If you're on the mound right now, you know you have to retire this hitter. If he gets on base, it could open up the floodgates for this offense to score some runs. One, Next two. offering misses, and the count is two, two and two. two. Base is empty, one away. Here, the bottom of the seventh. Slice to right, in there, base hit! And the bid for history is gone. Throws to second, not in time, he's got a double. He made a great run at it, Boog. I mean, he had their hitters off balance for the entire game up until this point, and maybe he didn't get all the way to 27 outs, but he deserves a lot of credit. Yeah, really fantastic effort. Gave us all a great show, and now we'll see what's left for him. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Tristan McKenzie departs, and he's responsible for the runner on second, so the book isn't closed on him yet. We'll be right back. The Guardians going with a new pitcher, Tanner Bybee. And you know, bullpen guys can struggle sometimes when they're called upon with big leads because it just doesn't have the same intensity as a tight game. So we'll see how sharp he is. Your mental toughness matters in situations like this as well. Man at second with one away. Now the left fielder, MJ Melendez. First pitch, and he just misses. One ball. These fans, they are ready to cheer about something. And a foul ball. No. Up and in, ball two. Cleveland has some action going in their pen. Sam Hentges up and loosening in the pen. Two and one now. Ball and three. another ball. Really close ball. pitch down One around strike. the knees there, and you could see him asking where it missed. Probably doesn't agree, but it appears he's ready to move on to the next pitch. Perez leads off second with one gone in the inning. That one fouled off. Looked like you got a little excited on that fastball. You gotta think to yourself, you wanna stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark. If you're a little late, opposite field not. Got him swinging. 
Now it's on a Renfro. Hunter. Renfro. Swing and a miss. It's 0 and 1. Wow, no fair oh, right one. there. I mean, that slider didn't move to the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pit. Runner at second, two down. Ball one. one there. This is off the outside edge. The guy at the plate could recognize slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth and perception. He knew right away it was an off-speed pitch. And the 2-2. And they'll do it again. Man on second, two down. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eight. Number John Schreiber. Schreiber. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. Jose Ramirez digs in for the Guardians. And a pitch. That one catches the corner for a strike. Schreiber, a 6-2 righty. He features a slider, a four-seamer, a sinker, and he works in a changeup. Next pitch misses. It's a ball One and ball. two strikes. Two strike. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Shallow left field. And it drops in. Around first, heading for two. The throw into second. Not in time. That's a leadoff double. So, man aboard. Next to hit, Josh Naylor. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Sizes this one up. Nabs it. Runner tags it second, and he's in safely at third with one out. Up next to Cleveland, the Pepec, D.D. Bravo. David Fry digs in for the Guardians. One for three. Go, On the corner for a strike, and it's 0-1. Activity in the bullpen. Sam Long, the lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. high and a count one and two this is a situation where the hitter is looking for something up in the zone that he can get his arms extended what you have to be careful of is that pitch that's up that's in on your hands that'll pop you up in the Oops. infield and that's exactly what the pitcher wants swing and a miss and he got him that's the second out and he'll be beating himself up on the way back to the dugout got a pitch to hit and just couldn't get to it I think that slider really caught way more of the plate than it was supposed to Number 10 in the box with two gone. And yeah, takes a look at a called strike. Yeah. 
In the air, left field, down the line. Melendez right there to make the grab. And that is that. Bottom of the eighth. So up now for Kansas boys. City. Nelson Velasquez. Here comes a pitch. Ball. Off the mark there. Ball one. one. Right through there for a strike. Big at bat right here. He did the team thing. Took until he got a strike. Now he's got to go to work. Shorten up that swing a little bit. Do whatever it takes to get on base. Righty delivers. Just misses the mark outside the zone. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. And that's strikeout number 100 on the year. Good pitch right there. Now, and he's attacking a location that this guy at the plate tends to have trouble with. And there's just so much information in this day and age, sometimes too much information. But the guys that can take that information, process it, and then go out there, Boog, and execute the pitch, go right after that hitter, and get the result that they were anticipating. That's really good pitching right there. And it's a good job of the pitcher and the catcher working together. Dyrone. Two outs, Blanco. base is empty. Dyrone Blanco steps in for the Royals. And first offering is fouled off. The wind of the pitch. Ball that one. just misses. One and one. Ball and two. another ball. Two down, nobody on. And that one fouled off. Okay. And that's downstairs and outside. And it's down. ball four. four. He missed First down eight. low. You can stomach a two-out walk to certain players, but with his speed, this guy out there in the base the base can turn into two or three bases. So the lineup flips over. Nick Lofton steps in for the Royals. Fastball for a strike. When you're taking your lead over there first, you've got to be very careful. This guy on the mound's got a good pickoff move. A big swing and a miss. No ball. Two strikes. Two outs. No. And ball Too low. One. There's a swim and a drop. In one hops off the wall. Should be extra bases. Run comes across all the way from first to cut the lead. It's 5-1. Drove that ball nicely, put a great swing on it, and it jumped off his back. Kind of put it all together there, and he's rewarded with the double. Bobby Witt Jr. steps in for the Royals. He's turned into one of the best shortstops in the game. And a foul ball. Swing and a ground ball out to short. On the run, throw to first. In got time, him. got him. And that'll do it. So it may be too little, too late, but they're on the board here in the late going. It's now 5-1. You're dialed into the show. Back here at Kauffman Stadium. All set to start the ninth in this one. Now it's the right fielder, number 30. Rodriguez. Schreiber back to work. Yep. Right through there for a strike. Yeah. 
Swing and a miss. Well, you got the hitter already chasing that nasty slider. If you're on the mound, you just want to expand the zone right now. Get a swing and miss and get through this at bat. That one is absolutely belted. A dive, and he can't haul it in. Into second easily with a leadoff double. Well, that's how you respond. Leadoff man comes up, gets into scoring position. Now, there are several ways that they can get this run across. So in now for Cleveland, Ryan Rocchio. Pitch is in there. Going one. Kicks and deals. Good job to fight that one off. Runner in scoring position, nobody out. Here at the top of the night. The shortstop ball. takes the ball. One, two. Through this one, it's a strikeout. Stood absolutely no chance on that slider right there, and I don't mean to laugh, but that's a tough one. I mean, pretty much a perfect strikeout pitch. I mean, it looks like a fastball middle in, kind of has cutter action, and it just bunches you up to where you can't get your hands through and the barrel to it. And not much you can do unless you recognize the spin early and you spit on it. Martinez one ball, in now, no takes ball one off the plate. And it's fouled away. Man, it's second. That oh, one's in there. And that's strike two. Oh. And another ball. Two ball, two strike. Kicks and fires. Sets three. him down on strikes. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Now that up, the left hander, Steven. Steven Kwan digs in now. Fastball for a strike. Man on second, two down. No. That one missing inside. One ball, one strike. Finish him. Righty to the plate. That two, missed two. inside. The count now two and two. Foul ball, he stays alive. Two outs and one in scoring position. Next oh, offering yeah. upstairs. Goes down oh, looking. So they work around the leadoff double. Part of the order, three, four, five will get their shot in the bottom of the ninth. It's the Guardians five and the Royals one. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Sam Hentges. Bringing in the lefty with the left-handed hitter coming up to hit. Classic bullpen move right here, so we'll see how it works out. Three, four, five do up for the home team. And here's the first baseman, Vinny Pasquantino. Pasquantino. The wind of the pitch. Now this is just par for the course these days. Huge fastballs coming out of the bullpen. Oh. Next offering is downstairs. One one. Oh. 
ball. And he dodges that fastball. Gets the call. And now two and two. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And now one away. Well, we saw a solid effort out of their starter, and the bullpen is following suit. It's just a good day as a manager or as a pitching coach when you can hand the ball off to multiple arms and get stability from all of their performances. Perez, added with one down, takes a strike. No ball, one strike. Misses just off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. One down, base is empty. So a foul ball makes it one and two. The pitch. That two, one in the dirt, and it's two and two. Foul ball left side, he'll see another. And that one hammered. And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. In safely with a double, his second of the day. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Pretty much just a textbook double into the gap. And when you can drop one in there between the outfielders, you know you're making the turn at first. Just an excellent swing. One out, runner at second. MJ Melendez steps in for the Royals. First pitch misses. There's a strike. This one up. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two down. The bat. The, the designated hitter. Hunter. Hunter. So it's their last chance in this one. Hunter Renfro at the plate. 0 for 3 with two flyouts and a strikeout. That one ripped, but foul. And now the lefty. Fastball for a strike. The Guardians leading by four. They're the last half of inning number nine. That one, misses two. the zone. Going to count one and two. The Royals down to their final strike. Ball, no. Just missing there. And it's two and two. That turns out to be a really good take right there, but you don't want to end this game with the bat on your shoulder. Two outs. Just off the inside corner. And it's three and two. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. the sixth win in a row all of a sudden you start to look around up and down the lineup to your left to your right as a player and you say you know what we're good uh, we may have had some tough times earlier on but this is a good team and you start to expect this kind of play out of yourself we'll see if this translates into a longer winning streak than it is right now 5-1 is how it ends for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show I'm John Chomby thanks for joining us